Now this problem is related to conformation. So let us see if you wish you can copy. So what this question says dipole moment of a solution that is mu absorbed is given by summation of mu y x i where mu y is dipole moment of a stable conformer and x i is the mole fraction of that conformer and we have a solution that has a dipole moment of 1 dy and mole fraction of nt form is 0.82 dy ah sorry one mole fraction is not in dy simply 0.82 then we have to calculate find the mole fraction find the find mu gauss dipole moment of gauss conformer so let us discuss first part and then we will go for the next part so let us copy this one first and we will discuss the first part so find mu gauss up to here you write Okay, you see, so mu i that is given as, so mu, sorry, mu of solution is given as, so mu observed, that is mu of solution, is given as, mu solution is given by mu i x i, that is mu 1 x 1 plus mu 2 x 2 plus mu 3 x 3. Where x is the most stable conformer. You see, in any case, you can have three stable conformer. So three conformer is important. We have discussed. You can have eclipsed. Another, you can have Gauss, and you can have that is anti, that is a staggered one. Now this is a stable, and this is a stable. This is not a stable. So. I will assume in this case I have only two only two conformer that are a stable conformer. So I am assuming an, I am taking an assumption and basically this assumption is valid assumption. And what is my assumption? Only two conformer conformers are a stable conformer. that is Gauss as well as NT. Now we can apply this formula. So mu solution is given, mu solution is 1 dy. So 1 dy is equals to mu i. So let us say, uh, now I can write mu Gauss into x Gauss plus mu NT plus uh, mu NT x NT. Now mu Gauss is given. Let me see mu Gauss or mu NT is given. Mu solution is given and mu anti is given that is 0.82 so I know mu anti that is 0.82 and mu a that is the dipole moment of anti conformer is given and xa xa is a point to 0.82 is xa and dipole moment of dipole moment should be given uh, that is not given so mu solution is given dipole moment is not given Okay, dipole moment is not given. So basically we can find in case of anti conformer, if I have an anti conformer, dipole moment will be zero. That is very important point here I have. So if I have a anti conformer, so I will have something of this kind of a structure. Let us say C L R R and here I have R, so let us R and R and here I have C L. So in this case dipole moment will be zero because this side and this side so total dipole moment for anti conformer will be zero. Are you getting? So now this is very important. So dipole moment anti conformer will be zero. 
And now the total fraction of this plus this will be 100% because I am assuming this solution contains either anti form or Gauss form. There is no any other form. So Gauss form will be 0.28 and then I have to find mu z. So mu z will be 1 by 0.28. So if you calculate this value, this comes out to be 5.56 dy. Are you getting? Now let us discuss about assumption. So we have made assumption that is in solution I have only two stable conformer Gauss as well as NT. For NT I know the dipole moment is zero because this will be NT. Each groups are located NT to each other so dipole moment will cancel. So dipole moment will be zero for NT conformer. And then I can find Gauss conformer, what will be the dipole moment. Important point, if I have more equation, so if I have mu3 x3, mu3 x3, mu4 x4, I cannot solve. I can solve this equation only for one unknown. And that is another advantage we have, that is mu a is zero. So I can solve only because this anti-conformer has zero dipole moment. So even if I take another more unknown, I cannot solve. And that's why I have to make an assumption that my con my system contains only two conformer, that is a stable conformer, Gauss as well as anti. But of course, in solution, you do not always have anti and Gauss. You will have some conformer middle the Gauss and anti. You will have some conformer that lies between anti and Gauss. But I have to neglect those conformer. I can assume those conformer have same energy, very close to Gauss are very close to anti then only I can solve this problem now let us discuss part B now this says write most stable conformer of CHDY so this problem is something to do with CHDY and that's why I have said the anti conformer will have zero dipole moment so if you have this kind of system H by D, dipole moment will be zero. Are you getting? So this problem is related to this. So second part says, write most stable mesoconformer of this. So you have to write mesoconformer, most stable mesoconformer. When Y is CS3 and then you have to write along C2, C3 bond. Are you getting? So what is if you buy CH, CS3 will have CHD, CS3, CHD, CS3. Are you getting? So you can write something like this CS3, CH, D, CH, D, CS3. Are you getting or not? So you have to write most stable mesoconformer. That is important point. So you see how will you make the meso of this compound along C2, C3 bond. So this is 1, this is 2, this is 3, this is 4. So this is your C2, C3 bond. So if you want meso, so what you have to do is, so let us first make meso. You have CS3. So this carbon contains CS3, HD, HD. And if you have meso, in the back side also you should have same kind of group. So that is here should we should have CS3, here should have H, here should have D. And now this is a meso conformer because if you cut along this line along this plane you will have plane of symmetry and now you have to make the meso so you rotate so either you rotate the back one or you rotate the front one so let us rotate the back one so you will have CS3 here and here H and here you D so if you rotate here by let us say 180 so CS3 will come here and this D after rotation by 180 so this has rotated here and this will go here so you will have D here and H will go here so now this is most stable conformer as well as meso. Are you getting or not? So most stable. Another B part. So if we have to write the resonant, uh, so not resonating a conformer if by CS3. Now next part of the question says CHD, CHD and by and by here I have. Now I have to write, so B part says write down most stable conformer when y is OH along C1, C2 bond. 
so let us copy if you want of course again you have to write down the mesoconformer so along c1 c2 bond so this time we will have ch and now d here you will have oh chd here you will have oh so let us say we will have ch d o h here you have ch d o h this is c1 c2. so along this bond are you getting and now i have to write meso conformer so let us first make meso and then i will write most stable so let us say i have hydrogen here so i should have hydrogen here on the back carbon also if i have deuterium then i should have deuterium on the back carbon also if i have oh then i should have oh on the back carbon also are you getting same thing i can write something like this so that it look nicer oh oh and hydrogen hydrogen here i have deuterium and here i have deuterium now this is a meso conformer i have to write most stable so now in this case if you remember this hydrogen bonding is formed so if i rotate this oh by 60 degree so back carbon if i rotate the back carbon by 60 degree so i should have oh and this will go here and this will so back hydrogen will go here and this deuterium will go here and the front will remain as it is and now here i can make the hydrogen bonding so in this case gauss conformer is most stable because of the hydrogen bonding gauss most stable why this is so because of the hydrogen bonding and of course this is what this is meso again so what is the important point this is a quite good problem it covers a lot of concept it covers the concept almost all concept of conformational analysis you see first it covers dipole moment and conformation which conformation will have zero dipole moment that is anti conformation will have zero dipole moment if you have this kind of system that is ch d c h d by because in those cases so if you have this kind of system d is here pi is here h is here d is here and then you have pi is here h is here now see all dipole moments gets cancels out so even if you have some dipole moment all dipole moments cancels out are you getting so dipole moment cancels out so anti conformer will have zero dipole moment this is the first point next point with covers you must know in solution if you sum up the total mole fraction it come out to be one and then by you have one conformer is 0.8 to then you know another conformer will be 0.28 now next important point this covers that you must know how to write meso conformer using the neiman projection formula and you also know how to rotate the back carbon so that you can get the most stable conformer you also have to know if we have two oh group in those cases gauss conformer becomes the most stable conformer not the anti conformer becomes the most stable conformer so this is a quite good problem we'll discuss the next problem in exam time you can revise this problem so make a star in your copy and if you find time during the exam you can revise so if i say a simple problem is the conformer analysis you can always revise this problem let us discuss the next problem